Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel, Appalachian Home Co. and today's video where we're gonna be talking about 3D printing. So as a crafter, you may be wondering, how is 3D printing going to be useful to me and to my craft? So I am going to show you how a 3D printer can really up your crafting game and expand your crafting skills. I'm gonna also show you some really useful and beautiful projects you can make using a 3D printer. We are gonna be using the Anchor Make M5C 3D printer. This was sent to me from Anchor Make to make these projects. The printer was so easy to unbox and set up. It should only take you about 10 minutes to set the entire printer up and it only has a few parts that you're gonna need to attach. I was so excited when I only seen a few pieces of parts in the box that I was going to have to build to make this printer. This was the first time I had ever set up or used a 3D printer. So if you are brand new to 3D printing and feel intimidated like I did at first, then the Anchor Make is definitely going to be a good choice for beginners as far as the setup and just starting your first print. So here I'm installing the last piece, which is the filament. And that is just the plastic or PLA material that actually prints your project. This is the Anchor Make brand PLA filament in the color white, but there are tons of colors of filament available that you can use for different projects. After you have your printer completely set up, next you'll just simply download the Anchor Make app. The app is going to work with this printer for all of your print jobs. You can download the app on an Android phone or an iPhone or even an iPad. And you can literally print from your phone anywhere, anytime. So I really love this feature about the Anchor Make M5C. In the app, the first thing you wanna do is go ahead and auto level your machine. It uses 49 points, it takes about 10 minutes. And this just makes sure that your bed is completely flat so that your projects are gonna turn out level and square. The bed on this machine is actually removable and it's also magnetic. It has some guides that helps you replace it when you remove your project. It's also double-sided. You can flip this over if something happens to one of the sides. So now we're ready to print our first project. I went ahead and selected a project that was already in the Anchor Make app. So we're gonna be printing this project out at fast speed, which is 500 millimeters per second, an upgrade from previous printers before the M5C, which could only reach 50 millimeters per second. Now here is where the M5C really shines, and that is with the one click feature. That means with one simple click, I can both transfer my file directly over to the 3D printer and immediately begin printing. This makes it super, super user friendly, and especially if you are a beginner. So with one click, you do your file transfer, the machine starts printing. So the ease of use of this machine is just outstanding. I am so impressed with this first project. It printed out super smooth, very high quality for the speed that we were going. Next, I wanted to try some different projects. So I discovered a few websites. This one is thingiverse.com that allows you to download 3D print files. And here's also where I discovered all things Barbie. So we're gonna start with this Barbie desk. Now this has several parts and this is what I really wanted to test on this machine. It has the desk as well as the drawers. So I downloaded all the files to my computer which are in STL form. So you will also need to download the Anchor Make slicer to your computer to convert your files. STL files will need to be converted into G-code and that is what your printer will be able to read and print. So once you have Slicer downloaded, you can simply drag and drop those files onto your screen into the slicing software. By importing those models into your software, the printing parameters are already set for you. And with just one click, the slicing file is wirelessly transmitted to the machine for printing. So again, you don't have to know the 3D language. You don't have to know how to reset 
all of those parameters it's already set for you so this is super easy and very user friendly for beginners. I printed out the rest of the desk in this part of the project did take several hours to print but I did combine all those drawers into one project you saw me print out before so you can combine projects in slicer slice them together and print them out together. There is also a one click button on your printer itself that you can actually print directly from your 3D printer. So there's a play pause button. You can print directly from a USB or you can actually reprint projects that you just printed. And speaking of reprinting, I had printed out this set of Barbie bunk beds from Thingiverse. And as I was assembling it, I actually pressed too hard down on one of these rails and broke the bed completely in two but luckily i was able to reprint just these rails if you go under settings in your anchor make app you can adjust what the one click button on your machine can actually do so i just set it to reprint last file and was able to easily reprint my last project I am so impressed at how easy it was to set up and use this machine. The AnchorMake M5C is probably the easiest piece of new equipment that I've ever tried to learn. I literally had it in on the first try. So don't be afraid to try 3D printing with this machine. If you are thinking about starting 3D printing or just want to try something new as a crafter, I highly recommend this machine for you. So that is today's video. I hope you guys really enjoyed it and I hope this inspired you to really expand out of your comfort zone into your, in your crafting skills and try 3D printing. I will have links to the Anchor Make M5C down in the description so you can go check this out for yourself. But thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you back again in my next video.